Hello and uh, <clears throat> welcome again to this video in which uh, we will see another example to get uh, our basics uh, more clear. In this example we will uh, try to check whether a given integer is a palindrome or not. A palindrome uh, is uh, integer, uh, palindrome integer is an integer which if you write using reverse so it will be the same for example 11 so if you write 11 reverse it is 11 for example 22 or 121 or 111 222 232 so these are examples of palindrome uh, so <clears throat> to compute this I have again taken two variables n is equal to 0 and sum is equal to 0 now we take input of n and we store this original value n as original and our loop counter is i now you see what happens is this value which we get the integer uh, we run the loop till the integer division uh, by 10 does not become 0 then what we do is we have sum is equal to sum multiplied by 10 and we have this code so let's see how this operates suppose number 12 is entered so n by 2 will be 1 so it will enter the loop now sum would be uh, 0 so this line will cause sum to remain 0 then we have this so n percentage 10 will be 2 and then we multiply that with 10 so it will become 20 so sum will be 20 and then n by 10 will become 1 and we increment the i and then n is 1 so this loop will terminate and sum plus will be uh, n so 20 plus 1 21 so this will reverse our number now if we take some number like 1 to 1 so first time sum will be 0 and then remainder would be 1 so we multiply that with 10 so it sum would become 10 and then n will become 12 in the next run we have 10 as sum so we multiply it with 10 to shift it left so it will become 100 and this will be 2 n percentage 10 will be 2 and then we have got 20 so sum will become 120 and then we have 1 uh, n by 10 so, so, so n by 10 over here will become 0 and then our sum will become 120 plus 1 so then we check sum to be equal to original and if it is same then integer is palindrome otherwise it is not so we run it let's try 12 so reverse is 21 no it's not a palindrome let's try with 111 so yes let's try with some big one yes it is still a palindrome let's try some bigger number no it is not a palindrome so let's try even bigger so yes it is a palindrome let's try some other big number so it's not a palindrome simple program the crux of the logic is from here uh, from here to here you see how the digits are extracted from right side using the percentage this is one then you see how sum is multiplied with 10 to push digits to left and then you see how the number is reduced by continuous division with by 10 and you need uh, to increment the loop counter okay I don't think we need this loop counter because we are not using it anywhere so let me reduce the code by one line and even then this should work okay uh, unknown variable i where we using i unknown variable i unused variable okay so it was a warning we can still run this see yep it's still working now since we don't use it we don't need to keep it because <clears throat> that will cause consumption of four bytes so that's it so it's a, a how many line program actually it's a five line program simple and deceptive it's not so easy to compute if you are just beginning with programming so i believe it to be a good example of putting logic into code that's it for now in next tutorial we will learn how to convert binary to decimal and decimal to binary because c does not have a basic uh, function for that thanks for watching the video enjoy